safety. Harrisburg police take drastic measures to shut down a rash of shootings and crime on a city street. It is tonight's top story. Tonight, police are on high alert in uptown Harrisburg to drop the hammer on what Mayor Thompson says is out-of-control gang violence. Police have shut down Curtin Street near 6th Street. News 8's Pete Mundeen has the story. When they come in, they're going to be coming out. It is not what Harrisburg police are typically armed with. Put it right here at the telephone. But after what has happened here... People's house getting shot up, cars getting shot up. Don't make no sense. It's ridiculous. Drastic times call for drastic measures. We've had 15 calls on this one street in 30 days. For what the mayor calls uncontrollable gang violence and why starting Friday night, police will patrol the ends of Curtin Street. This is where they migrate. They migrate right here on Curtin Street. And they house themselves on three vacant properties right here. They go down there on the side church steps and they smoke and they get high. And then they have beefs with one another, and then they start shooting their guns up in the air, and they shot up a bunch of cars in this area. Any gunshot is a threat to all of us. Neighbors say they dove for the sidewalks after a shootout here Friday afternoon. The glass of one car is still shattered, another riddled with bullet holes. It's getting worse. It really is. It's getting worse. A neighbor that has lived here for eight years was so afraid for her safety, she wouldn't even let us show her on camera and is not convinced this will make much of a change. We hoping, but no. Like she, like, like she said, no, barricades ain't gonna do nothing. They gonna take them down as soon as y'all gone. The people are angry. Their cars are being shot up. Their houses are being shot up. So let's just hope that no one here on the street gets shot. The mayor also called on neighbors to help out police by writing down tag numbers and taking pictures. She would not elaborate on other specific measures police are taking to rid this area of crime, but said that this blockade will last until it's under control. In Harrisburg, Pete Muntean, News 8. A Lancaster man is hospitalized in critical condition tonight following this morning's fire on the 500 block of East Chestnut Street. More than two dozen were displaced, including 11 children. Now, the cause is still unknown, but investigators are calling the fire suspicious. It started in this row home around 3.30 this morning. The damage was so extensive, the apartment building is now condemned. Residents also described a chaotic scene at the height of the blaze. One woman was trapped in an upstairs room and had to be convinced by firefighters to throw her baby out of the window to safety. Guy was like, throw the baby, throw the baby, throw the baby. The, the flames were like shooting 30, 40 feet into the air, and people running around screaming, of course. It's, like it's a chaotic situation. Firefighters were on the scene for over 12 hours. Two other residents and three firefighters were treated for non life threatening injuries at Lancaster General Hospital.